In this video, we're going to focus on the Chart.js background color gradient in a vertical position. This is a part of the Chart.js background color series. And if you've seen my previous video where we started to set up the gradient color settings, now it's time to look at it from a, or how we can adjust this vertically. So right now we have here something very simple we created, but this is a horizontal effect where the transition was here at the very beginning. So if you would like to adjust that, all we need to do is to understand which positions we need to do. And now more specifically, if you want it on a vertical level, we can start from top here or Y0 to Y1. Basically what will happen is we will do it from top to bottom. So let's start and explore this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the horizontal settings here. And then we're going to focus on the Y0. The Y0 is the starting point on a vertical position. So that's this one here. And what we're going to do in here, well, we can say here, the starting point will be from zero. And then we're going to go here at the ending point will be all down here. So if you remember the settings on the height and the width of a chart JS, this was 700 pixels in width. The height, because usually this is a ratio of two to one, this would mean, as you can see here, the ratio aspect, uh, ratio, the aspect ratio, sorry, is set on auto, which is uh, two to one, meaning that the width is two points while the height is one point, or basically two to one. So that would mean that here in this case, if this is 700, that, or the width is 700, then the height should be 350 because you just divide 700 by two. All right. So what we're going to do here then, here we're going to put in now the specific height that's 350. So it will meaning that we will going to cover the entire top to bottom. So once we have this, then here, same story, we can save this. And then we start to refresh. And now at the very top, it starts in green and then it creates a gradient transition to red. But it uses, of course, the full amount. We can control that as well. So let's say we want to start the transitioning on um, 40%. So basically somewhere here. And then after that, at 50% here, the transition should be completed. So we say here 0, 5. We save this and then refresh. As you can see here, now it transitions gradually. And then after it completes here, and there you are, it starts to show the remaining values here. And this is basically how you can add up this. But imagine like this, you would like to have colors for example you want to make another one instead of this you want to add up another one here and this will be blue and we want to make the transition from from green red blue every time 10 percent different so we save this here and refresh and now you will see we have multiple colors here and you can create here very very nice designs on this and as you can see here now we created a design on this and if you look at this and you say, well, a bar chart might not be very practical, that is correct. However, let's change this to a line chart because then you will see more interesting items. So if I save this now and I change that, you might notice here some parts are adjusting. As you can see here, the radiant are in the dots here, but it doesn't show properly. Why? Right now we have the settings of the background color, but it is very nice if you will start to see this here on the border color. If I change the border color as well, and save this and refresh, you will see that now our border or our border color is starting to adjust. And maybe this is not very clear. Let me adjust the width here. Let's put this on five. And what I want to do here as well is to reduce the tension. So we say tension, we'll set the tension at 0 0.4. So it will, we will have nice curve lines. This will look very nice. So if I refresh now, you can see now the way the lines are starting to curve, and of course, with all the color differences, this looks very, very appealing. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.